I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control, and welcome to this new series of videos called Tips and Tricks. I spent time talking with Daniel, who runs our customer care department, and George, one of his managers, to find out what issues you, our users, are having using their Vera Control system. This series of videos is going to help you with those issues. This first video is about Z-Wave, understanding it, how to set up our system, and what are the pitfalls and how do we work around them. So let's dive right in. Z-Wave is a mesh network. It's like a spider web of connectivity. What do I mean by that? Devices in a Z-Wave system don't actually need to talk directly back to our Vera controller. They can talk through other devices, AC powered devices, and they can act as a repeater back to the Vera controller. And we can do this a couple of times. That way, if there's obstacles, obstructions, things that are creating issues, or just distance. Because although manufacturers say that you can use their device up to 90 or 100 feet, the reality is, is once you put it into your house, you're probably not going to get that kind of distance. And the reason is, is that there's obstructions in our house that affect performance. So what are those kind of things? Well, large metal objects like refrigerators, washers and dryers, your HVAC system, the ductwork in our HVAC system, all the electricity up in the walls, large mirrors, wallpaper with foil, all of that can create issues for our signal getting from point A to point B. So what do you do if you're having that issue? Well, it's really simple. Add more devices. Try to think logically about where you're having that problem, what's causing it, and then put another device nearby. Like this Z-Wave light bulb here in this closet. It's surrounded by metal. It's surrounded by ductwork. So what did I do? I put one right here on the wall, right opposite it, and it's close enough that this appliance module can act as a repeater. So where's the best place to locate your Vera controller? Most people put it near their internet router. Mine is in a far back corner of the house, and I started with it there, and I was getting really bad performance. I moved it to a more central location, underneath the dresser in the master bedroom. Why did I put it there? The more central the location, the more devices that can speak directly to my Vera controller, and the faster it's going to perform, the better it's going to perform. So what if you don't have an Ethernet connection there? Well, there's a number of different solutions. You could run a hardwired connection there. That could be difficult and hard to do and possibly costly if you're having somebody else do it. Another option would be through Wi-Fi, through a Wi-Fi access point like well, your Wi-Fi router. This would allow you to place your Vera controller in the ideal location without ever having to run any new wires. To recap, Z-Wave is a spider web of connectivity. It's a mesh network, and AC-powered devices can repeat commands to devices that are out of range of the controller. Things like light switches, dimmers, lamp and appliance modules, Z-Wave bulbs. There are obstacles in the home that can limit the distance or performance of your Z-Wave network. Things like large metal objects, appliances, HVAC system, ductwork, but also mirrors, wallpaper with foil, the electrical wiring in your walls. How do we overcome these issues? Easy. We can add more devices, figure out what's causing the issue, and strategically place another device where it can act as a bridge for the Z-Wave signal. Put your controller in a more central location. That way, more devices can speak directly to it. It'll reduce the time it takes a message to reach a device, and it reduces the time it takes a device to report back to the controller. What if you don't have a connection there? You can either run a cable or just put your Vera controller into wireless mode, and it can communicate back to your Wi-Fi router that way. I hope this was helpful. Watch for more videos coming soon. If you want to be the first to see them, follow us on YouTube. If you want to be the first to know what's going on at Vera, like us on Facebook. And if there's something you'd like to see in these videos or you have a question, email me, training at getvera.com. And remember, at Vera, it's not about what we can do. It's about what you, our user, no longer have to do.